Hello, so we are going to continue to the second type of request. Uh, this time we will check uh, and we will learn how to make a request that will need uh, header uh, parameters. So to do that, we are going to use uh, this API. I found it here in rep repeat API. So we are going to make a request for a football prediction uh, and we will need to make uh, header parameters. This is something that we didn't check the last time and as well we will have to pass uh, parameters and we will um, learn how to pass parameters uh, using the BRS as a body parameters with the URL encode type but as well as a JSON object. So let's go to it. Let's come here to the project that we we're using before but this time I create another folder called football prediction. So let's start like before making a um, blueprint class uh, actor component, and this time we'll be a football uh, manager. So we'll come here to our football manager and we will make the request. What is the name of this request? We are going to uh, get predictions. I like to keep the same name so it's easy for you to uh, know what are you getting. So add a custom event get predictions all right and we will start as always using our ba rest subsystem uh, and construct a json request so we'll come here let's change this now we are going to make request body and it's still a get request confirm it here is a get request so first we will need the url this kind of request is the url does not receive any uh, parameter so we will just save it here to format uh, text and here will be our url now from this return value of the construct json request we are going to set the header so we are going to pass those two parameters uh, that we have here in the API. So we'll have this X rapid API key. So this will be one parameter. And we are going to set another header. And I'm going to make here a bit of rerouting. Okay. And this one will be uh, second parameter so just copy and paste the name just to ensure that we have the correct values and also here the these apis are for free so there are a lot of them so it's easy for you to um, try and practice how to use this blueprint that is really useful so let's come here So here we have the header value. We have both header already set up. So now we are going to extend this and process this URL. Let's reroll here. And the URL, we have it here already. So that's it. The same as before, we are going to bind event and request complete. And from here, we are going to add a custom event that will be on get predictions completed. So we have it here. And let's this uh, get response content a string and print it. So before we already learn how to get the information from the response a con, a response object, so I'm not going to check that again, but just I will be focused on how to construct and how to make the communications. So here, uh, the request 
is done, it's completed. So let's create an actor that will be our blue green class, and he will be our football actor. Football actor, and this actor will have the component the football manager and as we used it before uh, event begin play we will make a delay for two seconds just to give us some time and this is not necessary the delay I just make it to show how the request arrived like and now get predictions and that's it we are going to compile and save we'll come back here we are going to delete delete this uh, weather actor and place our football actor save level and play and let's check the answer that we got so here we have the result Yes, we have um, the prediction that is made. And of course, now if you want to get access to the data, I will recommend you to check the last video and verify how to uh, access to each one of these uh, values. So now we are going to uh, have two versions uh, or learn two ways to pass this optional parameters that we have here these optional parameters that we have here so let's start with the uh, most common i think the the easiest one yes that you can find more in the tutorials about va rest so from here we are going to get the requ get request object this request object will allow us to make a um, set a string field. So let's just double check how many of them we need. I'm going to pass just, uh, I'm going to pass the three of them. So I'm going to pass this, the market, ISO date and federation. So let's market the same. I use all date and federation. So we have here our target is our request object. Let's put it here to be able to make some reloading. And the string values are also here the classic, the date, and UFA. UEFA, I mean, the classic, UEFA, and the date. Okay, so now let's um compile and save and let's hit play again to get the response so we have one more time the response with the parameters that we pass so we can see here that our response is 200 and it's okay and we pass the parameters in that way so this is the first uh, way to make it but we can also pass the parameter here modifying the content type so we can came to json so instead of pass the parameters in this way and instead of get the request object we are going to come here and set the request object so we set to the request object and from here we can um um we can make a json so this json will bring us here 
the input so we have three strings yes each string uh, this will be again market ios iso date and federation so coming back here um, market market ISO date and federation so the values were classic federation UEFA and the date I still have it here so in this way we are passing this so you can come set the request compile and save and once again hit play and wait for our response and we again have the 200 ok response so this is the way that you can pass uh, this type of parameters uh, using two types of content type you know uh, the json and the url encode request value so see you in another opportunity.